Welcome family. In this video, we are going to focus on mathematics paper 2 for the year 2023. And uh, we are going to look at question 11 from section B of the same paper. So the question reads, the ages in years of 100 patients treated at a certain health center on a particular day are given in the table below. So I have been given the grouped data and the question is, we are to calculate the standard deviation. So there are about three ways in which we can find the standard deviation, but we are going to use where we first we begin by finding the the mean. After that, we proceed by finding the standard deviation. So let's give the formula for mean. So mean is equal to summation of f of x divided by summation of f, where this is the symbol for me. Let me F is frequency. Let me X without a bar is the midpoint. Then for standard deviation, this will be given by the square root of summation of F of X squared over summation of F of minus mean squared then from there our first step will be we are going to find the midpoint so let me give you a picture of what it means by this midpoint so let's take the first interval 0 to 10 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so the mid do the midpoint is like the mid term. So if I cancel this, I cancel this, then I cancel one, I cancel nine, cancel two, I cancel eight, I cancel three, I cancel seven, I cancel four, I cancel six. So the remaining mid term is five. So five is our midpoint. So that's what it means. But to simplify our work, what we do is we need to add these two last digits. So 0 plus 10 will give us 10. Then we divide by 2. So the midpoint for this interval is 5. Then if the midpoint between 10 and 20 is 15. Where we just say 10 plus 20, 30, divided by 2, 15. Then 20 to 30 is 25, which is 20, 20 plus 30, 50. Then 30 to 40 is 35. 40 to 50 is 45. 60 plus 50 is 110 divided by 2, which is 55. So this is how you should find the, the midpoint, especially whenever you are given data with intervals. Now, after we are done with finding the midpoint, we can proceed by finding the, the mean. So let's look at our mean. So summation will say F frequency multiplied by the first the midpoint is 5 plus the same pattern F times the second is 15 plus F times the second is 25 plus frequency times 35 f multiplied by 45 f times 55 then over so we need to find the sum of all the frequency so the frequency is this number or these numbers here number of patients so say 5 plus 10 25 plus 30 plus 20 plus 10 now let us proceed mean is equal to now where there is f we are going to substitute the frequency corresponding to each midpoint so the frequency corresponding to the midpoint of 5 is this 5 here so we put it's 5 times 5 plus c. the second one is this 10 here 10 times 15 plus c. 25 times 35 plus 30 
times 45 plus 20 so I have not made a mistake so we have 5 15 25 25 I'm sure there is a mistake somewhere here so this will be 25 times 25 plus 30 times 35 plus 20 times 45 plus 10 times 55 over the total frequency so the total frequency is the sum of these numbers on the denominator so uh, 5 plus 10 is 15 plus 25, that's 40, plus 30, 70, plus 20, 90 plus 10. So we have the total, which is 100. Then after that, we are going to do the math on top. So 5 times 5 is 25, plus 10 times 15, 150, plus 25 squared is 625. Then 30 times 35, 1050, plus 20 times 45, getting 900, plus 550, over the same frequency. Right, so we can now add the numerator. So we have um, 25 plus 150 plus 625 plus 1050 plus 900 plus 550. So I'm getting 3300 over 100, which is, uh, I mean, according to my calculations, I'm getting. 33 as my mean so now after we are done finding the the mean we can now go back to the formula of standard deviation so for standard deviation we need to find this expression here so let's find this expression so it is the summation of f of x squared over summation of f so this is uh, equal to so it is almost the same as the, the mean but the only difference is this time the the midpoint must be squared so say f times the first midpoint is 5 squared plus 15 squared plus 25 squared plus 35 squared plus 45 squared plus 55 squared over remember the denominator is still the same which is the sum of the frequency which is 100 so before I substitute by the F first let me deal with the square so 5 squared is 25 plus 15 squared is 25 squared getting 1225 so what do 45 squared getting 2025 then the last one is 55 squared so 3000 25 over 
the same number 100 from there what are we going to do so we need to substitute the frequency so the first frequency we have 5 followed by 10, 25, 30, 20, and 10. So the first one is 5. So this will be 5 times 25. The second one is 10 times 225. Then in the third one, the third one is 25. So this will be 25 times 625. Then we have 30 times 1225. After 30, this we have frequency of 20 times 2025. Plus the last one is 10 times 3000. 25 divided by the same frequency which is 100 now after we are done substituting now we can do the math so 25 times 5 is 125 plus then 225 times 10 is 2250 625 times 25 I'm getting 15,625 plus 30 times 1225 I'm getting 36,750 plus 2,025 times 20 I'm getting 40,500 plus 30,250. And uh, please make sure you take your time as you are doing calculations like this because a small mistake can be costly. Then from there, I'm just going to add the numerator. So 125 plus 2,250 plus C, 50. So I'm getting 125, 100,025, 500 over 100. So if we cancel, we get uh, this is 1,255. So after we are done, now we can uh, simplify. We can now say Therefore, SD standard deviation is equal to, so we have summation of f of x squared over summation of f minus mean squared. So this we found it to be this one. So we can just do the substitution. So here we put 1,255. Minus C, our mean is 30 squared, so it should be 33 squared. Then we say 1255 minus C, 33 times 33 is 1089. So we need to find the difference between the two numbers under the square root. So I'm getting about 166. Square root of 166, so I'm getting 
8. So if we correct this to 3 significant figures, we get 12.9 as our final answer. So this is how we can find the, the standard deviation without using a table. Okay, so now we move on to question B. So answer this part of the question on a sheet of graph paper. So Roman number one, using the table above, copy and complete the cumulative frequency table below. So it's this one that we are trying to complete. So what do you do? So look at the pattern. So this zero, you add five. So zero plus five will give us this result, 5 here. You repeat the pattern, 5 plus 10, then it will give you 15. 15 plus 25 will give you 40. 40 plus 30 will give you 70. 70 plus 20 will give you 90 90 plus 10 will give you this 100 years so that's what you do whenever you are completing the numbers so after we are done completing we need to look at the graph right so let's scroll down so you have been given the scale remember to using a scale of two centimeters to represent 10 units on each axis is for 0 to 60 under the x-axis and 0 to 100 draw a smooth cumulative frequency curve so I've been given a, a DC in the y-axis we I mean x-axis we need to make sure that we have 0 up to 60 so above 60 it's okay but the point is as long as we've reached this number then for y is 0 to 100 then uh, let's look at the the graph so this is uh, our graph so the first step that i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to draw make sure i use the uh, a row so i'm going to draw the vertical line so the vertical line is our y-axis then the horizontal line will be our x-axis and uh, make sure that as you are planning your x y plane before the numbers are drawn make sure that whatever that you do the numbers given must fit your x y plane right so after we're done we can now put the number so we are told two centimeters represent 10 units so every after two centimeters we put 10 so here we have 20 third fourth fifth sixty if want we can reach up to seven so the key point is We've reached our 70 then in the y-axis we'll do the same but the scale must reach the 100 so we'll have 10 20 100 so we we'll have according to the required numbers then before we start plotting first we need to find the what the smaller boxes each represent so what do you do we know that we have 10 smaller boxes here so what you do is 10 divided by the units that we are using so it's 10 divided by 10 which is 1 which means that the each small box represents a 1 now and make sure that uh, this must be 
on your graph paper. So now to so I don't want to waste time, I will just go direct in plotting. So the first one is 0, 0, which is the origin. So it's here. Then the second one is 10, 5. So 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10,5 is here. So 20,15. So 20,15 is somewhere here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we go to 30,40. So 30, 40 is here. Then 40, 70. So 40, 70 is here. Fifty comma ninety. So fifty comma ninety is here. Then the last one should be sixty comma one hundred which is here. So we can now draw our smooth. So we've done, we've drawn our our cave. You can now go to Roman number three, showing your method clearly. Use your graph to estimate the same in the quarter range. So, same in the quarter range is given by this formula. So, same IQR is equal to quarter of three minus quarter one over two. So we are we are supposed to find quartile three. So let's find quartile three. So Q three is the upper quartile is three over four multiplied by cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency is the total or the sum of the frequencies. Remember it's hundred or it's this number here. It's what we are going to put here. So let's do math. So it's 3 over 4 multiplied by 100. So what is 3 quarters of 100? Is 75. Now 75 is not our final answer. We are going in the y-axis and we need to locate where this where 75 is. So 75 is between 70 and 80. Then from there we need to draw a dotted line parallel to the x-axis until it touches the curve. So say 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So this is where the 75 is. Then upon reaching the graph, we are going to turn 90 degrees prior to the y-axis. So this is the cut this line is cutting the x axis at 40 41 so we have quarter of 3 as 41 so under the x axis is the edge so the upper quartile quartile 3 is equal to 41 years then let's go to quarter 1 lower quartile so this is q1 is equal to 1 over 4 times CF, which is 1 over 4 times 100. The quarter of 100 is 25. Then we'll do the same. We are going in the y axis. We need to find where 25 is. So 25 is between 20 and 30. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So you repeat the pattern. So this is giving me about 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So Q1, Q1 
q1 is equal to 24 years then to finalize our final answer our final answer will be uh, semi iqr is equal to quarter of three minus quarter of one over two so quarter of three is 41 is 41 minus quarter one is 24 over 2 so 41 minus 24 I'm getting 17 divided by 2 8.5 yes so this is our final answer so that's it for this video thanks for watching